What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Teddy Collector. I know, I know, I miss you guys too. But you know what time it is. It's time to go game hunting. So you ready? Let's go! You said 45? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go throw no outrageous number. That's why I threw an extra. <laughs> I was like, maybe cool. 30 bucks. And I, I was like, thinking well, 30 so until yeah. you threw that I in. I was like, you know what? That's cool to me. Like, yeah, that's cool. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no, no hey, when you find more stuff, hit me up. Yeah, I'll add you on Facebook. All right, folks. Got a pretty big lot here. We're going to go over this to the mar.
folks. All of this, all the Game Boy, the Game Gear, two PS2s, the games, PS3 games, two Nintendo systems, 200 bucks. Uh, <laughs> he went back to his truck. But all of that. Let's go up here. Is that 200 man? Yep. There you go. Alright, you need me to sign the uh, thing for you again? No, nah, you're good, brother. Alright. Good if we good. No. Right? Oh yeah. Nintendo uh Wii's. Okay. If you all hook up everything, that's all the booklets, the 10 games, memory cards, the Zelda stuff. I mean, I don't know. Cool. And there's more memory cards down here. Xbox 360 games. Like open, uh, you gotta do right I mean, this stuff, man, it's just, even at a dollar issue, I mean, I know everybody gotta make a profit. That's why I say 50. There's 75 regular comics in here. They ain't including the cards and the sleeves. And, and that's, that's not even including these. I mean, it's just, I mean, literally, I'm just not a comic collector, man. Yeah, I'm not I'm not either. I can't, I can't sit here and tell you nothing about none of them. Well, here, here's 40 for this stuff. But I do know there's, there's going to be a whole lot more video, man. I'm Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm Rob. Justin. Yeah. Yes, nice sir. To nice to meet you. That works. You mind if I let your tailgate down? All right, I'll go inside and get one. Should have got you a bag, shouldn't I? I went without, they need cleaning. Uh, this one I might not be able to use. Just because it's missing screws. And, it's missing screws? Yeah, and it's pretty damaged right there on the corner. You see how the top's coming off of it? I mean, if I yeah. did use it, it'd be for parts only. Okay. Well, I know it was Let's see. Thing. This one looks pretty good. I don't know what it is. I tore it down to try to blow it out. Yeah. TV, you can hook it up, hook them up. I can... No, like these old consoles like this, if they don't work, I can get them to work. 
as long as they have, as long as they're able to get power. All right, so we got one, two NESs, two controllers, zapper gun, power brick, Mario Duck Hunt, and Paper Boy. All right, there's 40 bucks. Yes, sir. All right. Okay, folks, I know I've been slacking on videos. I do apologize. I uh, just needed to take a little break, catch my breath, uh, enjoy some family time, work on some other priorities going on in my life. But <laughs> we've got a pretty awesome haul here. Um, this is just everything from this past week. And uh, some of the things I've already sold, so there's not as much here on the table as, um, as I, I've already gathered. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and knock out some of this stuff right away in one of the lots uh picked up some turtles uh collector cards x-men playing cards um i think there's like 11 if i'm not mistaken of these masters of the universe mini comics those are pretty cool um the simpsons comics and stories issue number one and beavis and butthead uh supplemental wizard you see right there, Marvel Comics, a uh, little miniature comic, but pick those up in a lot with some games and some systems. We'll go ahead and get those out of the way so we can take a look at the game stuff here. All right, so I've already sold one of the NESs, so five NESs got picked up this week. A GameCube. I've tested this GameCube. It plays. It works. However... It does not save the calendar. So I'm thinking the internal battery is dried out and it needs to be replaced. Um, if anyone has a, a good idea as to how to go about doing that, please let me know um, if you can share the links with the batteries that are needed. Um, I'm pretty proficient with soldering so I can take care of that myself. Um, but I would, I would like to know what batteries uh, they use internally. Um, got stack of three Wii's here one the white Wii has been modded um, it's got all kinds of stuff on it however it's missing the uh, controller flaps and the SD card flap also picked up a silver uh, PS2 Slim um, and a fat PS2 this fat PS2 came all of this stuff came in a big lot but the controller port um, on the fat PS2 is broken when I open this when I turned it on, the bonus game of the year popped out of this thing. Def Jam Fight for New York. It's actually in my bedroom. It was scratched and beat to hell and back. And I resurfaced it three times, trying to bring this thing back to life so I could sell it. That would have been an easy 45, 50 bucks disc alone. And would have made up for the fact that this PS2 doesn't work. Um, but I can't. 
it I've resurfaced it three or four times, like I said, and it just will not read. I tried it on um, my fat PS2. I tried it on two different PS2 Slims, and it just won't work. Um, got a stack of PS2 games here. Nothing crazy. A couple of the titles I'm going to add to my collection. Siphon Filter Dark Mirror, um, Spider-Man Web of Shadows, and Batman Vengeance. I'm going to add those to my collection. Also with another lot, got a stack of uh, 360 games, Xbox 360 games. Nothing crazy there. A lot of those are just uh, disc-only games in, um, in some generic cases. Picked up Blood Drive and Velvet Assassin from the Pawn Shop. Um, this was a game that I had never seen before, and this was an Xbox 360 exclusive, so I went ahead and snatched those up. Also at the Pawn Shop, I picked up Assassin's Creed Origins, Far Cry 5, Injustice 2 Legendary Edition, and Cars 3. Um, the Legendary Edition and Cars 3 were PS4 titles, and I picked these two up. Uh, I've already sold um, Injustice 2 and Cars. I got all of them for $9 each, and I sold the other two to put these two into my collection for free. Uh, those are two games that I'll actually play. Uh, we got a stack, a mound of NES games here. All of these games do not have manuals. Uh, we'll start off with the top. We got Robo Demons and Galactic Crusader. Those are unlicensed uh, NES games. They're worth about 40 to 50 bucks a piece, though. So nice little find there. Uh, we got Death Bots on the top. I'm not sure if you can see with that glare. Uh, let's see if I can move the light a little bit. There we go. Shadowgate, Metal Gear, Rambo, Jaws, TNC, Surf Designs, Bionic Commando, Legend of Zelda, uh, Snoopy, Cubert, Monster Party, Tiger Heli, Super Sprint, Dr. Mario, Paperboy, and MLB. Uh, Silius also did not have a manual. And that's this game right here. Journey to Silius. This is about a twenty-five to thirty-dollar game in the condition it's in. It's in really nice condition. Really nice label. Nice find there. All of these NES games had manuals with them. So we got Airwolf, Ghostbusters 2, The Simpsons, Bart vs. the World, Dragon Spirit, Low G Man, Ninja Gaiden 2, Knight Rider, Ninja Gaiden, Friday the 13th, Back to the Future. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project, uh, the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, Astyanax, I'm pretty sure I butchered that, uh, Track and Field 2, Rock and Ball, Pac-Man, Rad Racer, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, another copy of Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, and Mega Man 2. All of those had manuals with them. I also got this Legend of Zelda instruction booklet tips and tactics. I looked this up on eBay and this particular book is selling anywhere between $35 to $75 depending on condition. The only thing condition wise that is pretty bad with this is that it's got this stain right here and that little spot right there. However on the inside Everything is there. Everything is nice and complete. There's no ripped pages. It has the map intact. That's the fold-out map right there. Um, nice find there. Then I got some extra manuals. RC Pro-Am, uh, Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, World Track Meet, Mario 3, Simpsons, Bart vs. the Space Mutants, Fax Xanadu, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, I've, got, I've got copies of all these games. Uh, another lot I picked up uh, was a couple of SNES games, some NES games. Um, some of the SNES games I've already sold to recoup my money. Uh, but these were three copies that I'm going to keep. This Return of the Jedi, this was my copy right here. It was pretty beat. So this one right here is actually an, a label upgrade, condition upgrade. Um, it's in much better condition. So I'll be keeping this one and getting rid of my previous copy. 
Cybernator, that's another $20, $25 game there. Very nice find. Got a mound full of uh, NES controller, Zapper, SNES controller, a couple of black uh, Wii Motion Plus controllers, the Light Boy, this awesome Nintendo Game Boy case, uh, the Game Genie with the manual, and um, some memory cards, 15 Game Boy games, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Game Gear games. Now, one of these lots came with a Game Gear, and it came with a Game Boy. Uh, the Game Boy and Game Gear were in pretty nice condition. However, the Game Boy was missing the battery cover. And the Game Gear was in nice condition. It had battery covers, but when I opened up um, when I opened up the Game Gear, somebody had left batteries in it, and the battery trays were full of corrosion, battery acid, as well as the Game, uh, the game Boy. So I put both of them on eBay, listed them for parts, and already sold those. I uh, got to keep these. Now, um, I think I said the Game Boy was missing a battery cover. No, it had a battery cover. And a nice working Game Boy that I had was missing the battery cover. So I took the battery cover off of the one that I sold on eBay, put it on this one. And I've got this listed right now, bundled with a few of these games. Uh, but the games were Sonic the Hedgehog, Prince of Persia, Spider-Man, Columns, Land of Illusion. Earthworm Jim actually came from the pawn shop. Uh, the manager said, hey... You want a free game? I said, sure. She handed this to me. So, a very nice find there. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Spider-Man Return of uh, the Sinister, Sinister Six. Mortal Kombat and Shinobi 2. The Game Boy games was Super Mario Land, Paperboy 2, Double Dragon, F1 Race, Motocross Maniacs, uh, Skater Die, Bad and Rad, Race Driving, Tecmo Bowl, uh, Bart Simpson, Escape from Camp Deadly, Super RC Program, The Amazing Spider-Man, Another Copy of Bad and Rad, Tetris, NBA Jam, Tournament Edition, and Wave Race. Some of these I already have, so they're listed with that Game Boy. Uh, but that's it, along with these PSP games. Uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, uh, Medal of Honor Heroes, and Ghost Recon 2. All three of those I did not have. Um, also came with the Game Boy Genie or a Game Boy Game Genie, and it's got the little booklet on the back, uh, in the little back slot. So it is, um, that was a nice find there too. But that's it, folks. Other than the PS2 controllers hiding back here in the corner, that is it. Fantastic haul for the week. Folks, if you've enjoyed the content, by all means, leave that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, hit the bell icon. When you do, you're going to receive notifications every single time I upload new content. All right, folks, I hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Teddy Collector, and have a good one.